Now we're at 7.51 at KNEV. Time for News Extra and brought to you by Intralinks in Gary. Here's Kevin Looney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Our guests today are a couple of county employees. Susie Wick is the GIS administrator. Scott Basse is the county surveyor. And we're going to talk about something that's called accretion land mapping, which is uh, being done by these two folks um, for the first time in probably pretty much uh, the county's entire history. And uh, a meeting coming up a Monday night to talk about this. So, uh, first of all, Susie, uh, let's talk about uh, what the meeting is going to do on Monday night. We are having a public open meeting for everyone that has accretion land. We sent out letters, so you should be receiving those. And this is January 30th, next Monday at 4.30 in the commissioner's room in the admin building. All right. Why don't you tell for uh, people, I didn't know what uh, accretion land, what's that? So uh, tell people what that is. Accretion land is basically river land. It is not deeded land. Okay, it's river land. And, and part of the situation here is that uh, the river land kind of like uh, moves as the, as the river kind of goes uh, wide and then, and then narrows, right? Yes. The, originally when they surveyed, they omitted this ground from the surveyed ground uh, to keep the river open to the public. And then later the state declassified it, and so it went back to the adjoining owners, and that's what created this ground. With the recession of the river, the river's a lot smaller and narrower than it was historically 120 years ago, and that creates this ground that we're talking about today. All right. So what we're doing now is, uh, or what has been done in the past, is most people have said, well, okay, if they owned river, oh, if they owned this land, or they owned land next to the river, or whatever, they said, "Hey, this this I'm just going to build a fence here, and this is kind of my land, just kind of informally." Correct. And everybody kind of went along with what was going on, right? right? Back back in the day, you know, the joining owners just continued their fence lines, whatever they did, they the handshake deal, they agreed that was the line, and and that's where the lines have been for the last seventy years. Um, we're trying to tax people for what they have title to in this land has special rules and regulations and statutes that control how these boundaries are determined and that's what we're trying to map these to match those statutes all right so this would affect all the people that own land on the north and south side of the river correct all the way down through the entire county so we're talking about a lot of folks yes. right Yes, this this will affect a lot of people along, you know, everybody along the river, which yeah. is a lot of people in this county. There's a lot of different landowners. Yeah, and uh, the reason why it's so important to get this mapping correct is some of that land is worth a lot of money because it's used, say, for hunting recreation or purpose. recreation purposes. Other parts of the land... Maybe not so other parts Correct. of that land, not so much, right? Correct. His, you know, back 30 years ago, this land was not very valuable and kind of wasted ground for a farmer. It didn't have any production purposes right. or anything It's in like the river. That. Correct. They couldn't graze cattle on it. They couldn't raise crops on it. So they, they didn't really concern themselves with it. But in the last 15, 20 years, this became very valuable gr ground because of recreation and goose hunting and and the other recreation purposes it's been intended for. And some of this land is also uh, conservation land, which is important as well. Yes, there's a lot of it in conservation easements by private and public entities. Okay. All right, we'll take a break. Talk more right after this. Is your wireless computer network secure? With their years of professional service, you can trust Intralink's technical solutions to keep your small or medium business computer system up and running. Not having a secure wireless network can put your computers at risk. Call Intralink at 632-6590 to have one of their highly experienced techs set up, troubleshoot, and secure your wireless network. For weekly tips and information, friend Intralink on Facebook at Intralink links.net slash facebook we're back on news extra this morning we have Susie wick here the uh, county gis administrator scott basse the county surveyor we're talking about a very important meeting coming up 
this Monday evening, 4.30 p.m., where uh, they're looking for some public input on a policy the county is going to establish regarding accretion land mapping. And they need your input on this before they go ahead and establish a policy as to exactly what they're going to do. But, uh, Susie, you, uh, you guys, uh, by statute, have to kind of do it a certain way. Am I right? Kind of explain what that way is. Exactly. There was a statute in 1991 that was um, brought to light by the state surveying office of nebraska and we are trying to conform to that statue all right for you of us that just joined in after the break accretion land uh, mapping when we're talking about accretion land this is the land that is in the river that folks own all down uh, the river throughout the uh, county affects a lot of people some of it is uh, a very expensive recreational land uh, other parts of that is conservation land still other is maybe some ag land that really uh is not all that valuable because it's in the river but nevertheless you guys have to find a way to to map it and figure out who owns what right correct okay so this uh this 90 percent rule you're talking about explain that a little bit well it's a 90 degree method yeah and what it does is come from the original meander lines and that was the lines where they stopped at the river banks back in the 1800s when they surveyed when it goes to that line then it goes perpendicular 90 degrees to the middle of the river and that's what we do instead of just continuing the lines like they historically did you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to use a 90 degree method there's a couple other methods but they're impractical to do on the north platte river so the 90 degree method has been adopted by the state of nebraska and that's what we're going to use all right and this and if you use that method this would help identify who owns what land by title as you say make it legal uh even if the river go narrows or widens it'll all still remain basically the same right correct the the channel will change from north to south you know between the north and south owners that will that will move as the river moves but the adjoining owners east and west they're pretty much they those lines are established and reset by this 90 degree method all right so when uh, folks go to the meeting on monday night um are they going to have personal one-on-ones with you guys or are you guys just going to kind of explain the method and then if somebody has a comment, then they step up and have a comment. I'm not sure, but I would assume that we're going to have kind of a county, uh, you know, a kind of community like a, hall a, kind of. Kind of like a town hall meeting, Exactly, right? where we will explain what we're doing and then open it up for anybody to ask questions on anything. And if somebody needs some one-on-one time, we will be available after the meeting, or we can be made available at our offices to meet with them anytime they'd like. And when do, do you plan on actually establishing the policy? I mean, I, I think the commissioner set it back to the first meeting in February, so that's Correct. what they're hoping to do. Correct. And, and this is this is nothing that we want to set, you know, that needs to be set today or tomorrow. But we would like to get this going because, I, you know, later down the road next year, I think this is going to be used for taxes, yeah. and we just need to get this in motion. Yeah, need to get it done. Yes. Right? All right, 4.30 p.m. is the meeting time, January 30th on Monday afternoon. Uh, we, I count, It's in the county commission room. I think we're going to have quite a few people there. There's, Like we said, there's more people than you think that are affected by this. And if you are, make sure you put it down and make sure you're there, right? We hope to see you. Yep. All right. Okay, very good. All right, thanks, you guys. I appreciate you uh, coming in and talking about something that uh, sounds a little complicated but hopefully we simplified it a little bit today thank you thank you your trusted voice for agriculture knb scotts bluff gearing 960 am and now on 100.3 fm